It is time for Health Beat. According to Donate Life America, more than 100,000 people are waiting for a life-saving organ. April is Donate Life Month, a time to raise awareness to the need for donors to cut down on that transplant wait list. One Sacramento man shared his story of donation with me to encourage you to sign up. In 2000, Joseph Chires started his career as a Sacramento police officer. His father, Jess, was extremely proud. When he was in the academy, he came to me and says, hey, Dad, he goes, uh, if anything ever happened to me out on the street, he goes, I want to donate my organs. And you know, I looked him right in the eye and I says, nope, it's not going to happen. Joe tried to express the need, especially among the Hispanic population, but Chires would not budge. Five and a half months later on the job, they were making an arrest, and uh, he collapsed out there, out in the street. So I went off to a little corner, and I prayed these simple little words. I said, God, what do I do? I told my son no, that he couldn't donate. And God gave me an answer right then and there. He told me that if I honored my son, I'd be honoring him. Joe had a 1% chance of survival. And they said, uh, are you willing to donate your son's organs? I stopped right where I, was, where I was at and looked at them straight in the eye and I says, as a proud father now, I said, yes. By the time I got to my wife, she just had enough strength to lift up her head. As I'm giving her a hug, she's trying to talk to me but the words wouldn't come out, but I could read her lips. And she said to me, thank you for honoring our son. He later found out the last time a Hispanic person had donated an organ was 10 years prior. Now Chires and his wife are raising awareness to let all groups know it's okay to donate. There's a lot of myths surrounding donation that nonprofit Sierra Donor Services wants to clear up. Hospitals, we're going to take care of every single individual. We're not called until after they've made all attempts to save an individual's life. I think some other myths we hear are I'm too old to donate, when in fact there's really no upper age limit. Um, anybody can help save a life. Joe saved four lives, two of them now close friends of his family. I feel so proud of my son for educating me. So the good news is more and more people are stepping up to the plate. Nonprofit Sierra Donor Services had a record year of donation in 2023, but the need is still there. If you'd like to become an organ donor, there are a few ways that you can do that. Most people just sign up at the DMV when you get your ID. But if you have an iPhone, you can actually sign up under your health app or you can do it all online. I put a link to it on our website, abc10.com links.